there, it's Brian here with the North American guitar at Winter Nam 2020. And right now we are in the very, very loud corner of the main hall. And we're joined with wonderful guys, Amit and Tal from Muck Mull Custom Guitars. Guys, the booth's looking absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. So you've got loads of exciting new stuff hanging out here. And it's been a real treat to run through everything. Um, where do you want to start? I mean, you've got brand new headstock that's predominantly featuring on the S Classics, right? Yeah, it's, you will see it in the S Classic, but you will see it in the Heartbreaker as well. It's an additional option. Everybody can choose if they want the Americana headstock or our original headstock, whatever they want. <laughs> and they both look great, but there's a cool story behind it, because that's, actually, you were saying, one of the oldest designs for you yeah, guys. Yeah, it, it was a shelf design back in the days, and we tried to figure out what good for us as the main headstock at the beginning when we went internationally. And we chose the straight line one because we understood that we've got to, to go with one clear headstock, especially at the beginning. And now we felt like it's something from the bottom of our, our heart to bring the Americana headstock. We, we brought the name Ameri Americana right now. The name is new, the headstock is old. <laughs> so here it goes. We have the, the Americana headstock, a six in line, a, a regular one, and the reversed one upside down. I mean, should we start with the reverse one? Because that's got an amazing story. Uh, should we grab that guitar, the reverse headstock Americana? Because that thing's amazing. You were saying that was designed with Mike Campbell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was designed for, for Mike Campbell, for his demands. <laughs> and we brought something new because we, we wanted to make something very special to him. And we made the, the, these tortoise inlays, tortoise uh, dots, tortoise uh, pickup covers, and uh, etc. Et Everything is a, is a whole tortoise set. It looks absolutely beautiful. I mean, I can't wait to, yeah, to really spend some time with this thing. And I love your finishing just across the guitar. It's absolutely beautiful. Do you want to tell us a little bit about the construction on this? Yeah, sure. Uh, first of all, you were talking about the, the finish. We're really proud of it because it's really, really extra, super thin, super extra hard. That's why it cracks easily. Get, that's what's so good about the sound with it. It helps it breathe. It's like being like real wood so thin it's really really important for us so this one was designed uh, it's one of the combination that we're not doing a lot because it's it's pretty hard to combine uh, p90s with a single coil because this one usually is white more brighter and this one is a little darker so we need we needed to build something really special that uh, this one will be a little more clear and this one will be a little more mid-rangey and fat that they will work really nice together. And it's not just about designing the pickup, it's to find the right wood for it that will help it to drive the pickup with it. Um, it, it, it everything about it, even the caps, has a little bit of uh, um, uh, change between one and to each other. So we measure one by one the caps, and that, that helps it to find the exact sound we're looking for. Well, it absolutely blows me away, and it's with every guitar, it has such a distinct personality because they're built one by one. Every single piece is built to match the piece that came before, and you just put so much of that passion into every component, and it just yields amazing results. Thank you. It means a lot, yeah. The, one of the main things that we'll always talk about is how the finish in the back is raw, but you can't see the big difference between the lacquer to the to the finish we worked hard for it and it, on an NOS uh, finish it doesn't look like um, too aged it looks nice it looks it's very comfortable because it's really smooth very important stuff is our neck a maple neck finishes the fingerboard we, we do a special treatment in order to make it unsticky. It's still a nitro cellulose, the same ni nitro finish we use at all of our guitars, but we treat it a bit different. And as you can see, it looks like it's a matte and it's not sticky. It's comfortable as the rosewood boards. It's something amazing. It's something very unique that we do. 
uh, in all our uh, maple wo uh, boards lately. It's like uh, the new standard in our workshop, uh, like the, the bare wood in the back of the neck. It's a standard. Every guitar, it doesn't matter if it's an NOS or a very aged guitar, all of our guitars uh, 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 is naked in the back of the neck. Well, we had a Maple Neck S Classic just come through, and that is one of my favorite S-type guitars I've played in a long, long time. I mean, I love a maple board, and the way you guys have done it, it's just so smooth and effortless. All across, it's just got that zing to it. And you were saying with the treble strings, the way you voice the pickups, there's so much clarity. No matter what amp you're running, like you've just got so much behind you in it. I, I think one of the main things about, uh, thing about our guitar that we make the guitar so vibrant that one of the, uh, I think the, uh, the first impression you get of, of a McMahon guitar is there's two, two strings, the E and the B. They're so clear that it doesn't matter if you use fuzz or use overdrive or I don't know what, you will strum the string with the E chord and you will hear these the two strings that is very important for the, the whole definition of the guitar. And if you will uh, 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 strum the bass string, you will hear the, the high definition, the, uh, the high end of the of the string that reproduce the the whole characteristic of, of the guitar. Every every note, the note separation and the dynamic range, every note have a whole different world, and it comes together uh, um, in a in a guitar, in yeah. a good guitar. <laughs> yeah. I just uh, lost the English. <laughs> <laughs> so the next big addition to the lineup is the Neo series of the Heartbreaker. That's our new pride and joy. We gotta grab one. I mean this. <laughs> yeah. So this is just stunning. Yeah, that's the Neo. Um, what's so special about it? We're always thinking about the next thing we're gonna do, and we we improve the sound of our guitars to be as we love. And we wanted to still make some more little changes that will make more effort. And we understand that with the classic design, we are limited. So we have to make some minor differences to increase the thing we want and be really important about some more mid-range, some more clarity, some more punch. Just a little, it's a little thing that makes the big difference. So the first thing we did is taking all the electronic and put it on the same surface as everything. That gives it, everything is moving, electronic is moving while you're playing, the, and it makes a whole different story than use a plate, a metal plate that separate from the bare wood. And uh, the, the, we had lots of cavities changing inside that makes a difference, but the main thing there is a, a metal, a special metal we're using that doing the whole ground, and you can see the difference if you're playing between the Heartbreaker uh, series to the Heartbreaker Neo, you can hear this, those differences. It's different, it's different, but still classic. The main thing is to, to do something that it's more magmalized. Yeah. It's more uh, classic design on steroids. <laughs> it's something, uh, we, we did uh, a lot of changes uh, not uh, not just in the cavity. We did changes with the, we use uh, as standard. You can choose whatever you want, but we, we made a few changes with the frets, a few changes with the with the wiring, a few changes with, with how we measure the wood to get something that is, is really different for, from the uh, regular heartbreaker that everybody familiar with. And uh, the the main thing about the heartbreaker Neo for us is the Yes, so this is awesome. So this is the first run with humbuckers and this is brand new territory because yeah, we've always associated you guys with single coils. We've had a couple of the heartbreakers that have the P90s, but the humbuckers are just absolutely blowing my mind. You've got to tell me a little something about these. Yeah, as, as we talk about all the electronic that is on the wood, same as the pickups, it's exactly like in the T style when you, when you put the neck on the pick art or on the wood there is a huge difference. So it's exactly, it works exactly the same here. When the pickup hangs on the wood, there is a big difference. And as usually when you're playing a humbuckers, uh, you got a different dynamic. It's a different sound, right? But it, it usually um, they don't have enough clarity as a single. 
it's a matter of taste. It's not, I'm not saying it's better or not, but it's, it's something that for us is really important. For our company, our goals, it's being clear. As you said, you, you want to play E and E7, you want to hear the 7 as good, but still not sound too, uh, too uh, modern sound, like this high crisp. So still has the mid-range, but less bass, more clarity, more punch. So we're really proud of this one this year. And you've done such beautiful work. I mean, the way these sit in, it's just absolutely flawless. And you look at it, and you were telling me you've got some very special methods of getting these in. But you look at that, and you just think, how have you managed to get the pickup under there and through? And you look at the back, and it's Not just a simple cavity. And it's amazing. And it's just come together in something that looks so streamlined, but just extraordinary. And again, huge appreciation for the new pit guard design, the way that ties in with your headstock. It just. It feels like such a continuation of the theme, and it's great to see you guys keep evolving with it because it's such inspiring work. One important thing to say, everybody, when they look at this guitar, thinks that this is a cosmetic thing. It's not a cosmetic thing. It's all about the, 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 the way that the pickup, can, the wood can move the pickup and let him sound different because we felt like Tal said, we felt like the, always the humbucker configuration is always not, not as transparent as the single coil. And we didn't like it. So when, yeah, yeah, we, we didn't like it. And when we brought this humbucker design, we had so many prototypes and we tried to bring the, the McMahon sound in a humbucker. So when uh, you will hold it and play it, you, you will not get the same humbucking design that everybody else do. It's something ridiculously different. It's something that has tons of clarity, tons of punch. The, the dynamic range is like it, it, the headroom, the sound, everything is vibrating. You strum a chord and you feel like an acoustic guitar is vibrating in your heart. No, it's absolutely, I mean, we were playing this yesterday on day one. I can't wait to spend more time with it. It's just such an inspiring thing to interact with. And like you said, it's just, it's a humbucker guitar, but it's got such, it's the McMull sound yeah. still. And it's, yeah, just a wonderful, wonderful thing. What's really cool about it, usually with humbuckers, if you take the, you roll all the tone down, it, it, we have it in all the McMull, but in the humbuckers, a lot of jazz players, they like to take the, the tone down and play it but it's, it's really marble. Here you can still hear the definition of every string. So you can still have that warm, jazzy sound, but still you can play every note and feel it. And yeah, we, we, we talk about a lot of, about the sound because that's what the main important for us, but still a really cool feature that you have the volume next to your hand if you want to use it for swirls. You got a switch and yeah. I, I always try to think, Everybody tried to ask us about how, how can you summarize a McMahon sound. A McMahon sound is cutting through the mix. We always check our guitars to be usable in a live situation in and in a studio situation. And when you, when you try them out in this kind of situation, you immediately understand it's, it's more than playing the guitar uh, by the amp and just listen to the guitar because it's very good. You can uh, compare it to other stuff, but it's for professional guitarists that searching for the next thing, next thing that stays still, stay still stays classic, but uh, brings something new to, to the guitar world. Well, it's been so cool to see what you guys are working on. I mean, the last six months, however long it's been that we've been you know, working together, we've seen some incredible guitars and they've gone to homes and people are just, people don't stop letting us know how much they love them and it's been such a great journey. I'm so excited to see where that goes. I got a feeling this is gonna be a really big year. It's been amazing to see everything in the stand. I can't wait to play stuff more. We can run through as many guitars as we can get our hands on and yeah, it's gonna be an awesome show. If you want any more information on the finest luthier built instruments or anything at NAMM, do subscribe to this channel. We've got loads of content coming out. If you want to know more about these stunning but more custom guitars, please don't hesitate to get in touch.